Hello students, welcome to science class. In the previous lecture, we had studied about Kingdom Monera. In today's lecture, we will learn about Kingdom Protista. This kingdom was proposed by Ernst Haeckel in the year 1866. These are unicellular eukaryotic organisms, means single-celled organisms with well-developed nucleus and membrane-bound cell organelles. Now let us start with an activity. Prepare a temporary amount of one drop of pond water on a glass light. Observe it under low power and high power of microscope. You will find some motile microbes means spontaneously moving microbes with irregular shape means they don't have a particular shape. These are amoebae. So let us talk about general characteristics of protista. First, protista are single celled organisms with well defined nucleus enclosed in a nuclear membrane. Second, they have pseudopodia or hair like cilia or weep like flagella for locomotion. Means as all protists are aquatic, they move through water with the help of flagella, pseudopodia and cilia. For example, euglena moves with the help of flagella, paramecium moves with the help of cilia and amoeba uses pseudopodia that is false legs for the purpose of locomotion. We can say that all these cilia, flagella, pseudopodia are the organs for locomotion means movement. They are the organs for movement. Third, some protists are autotrophs means they can prepare their own food. For example, euglena wall walks contain chloroplast so they can prepare their own food. While others are heterotrophs means they show heterotropic mode of nutrition means they depend on others for food. For example, amoeba paramecy. So, in this way, we have learnt about kingdom protista. Now, we shall proceed to our next kingdom that is kingdom fungi. So, fungi are multicellular organisms and can live in different habitats. So, let us Try an activity to observe fungi. Take a moist piece of bread and keep it in a container with lid for 2-3 days. After 2-3 days, a fine cotton thread like tuft is found. Tuft means bunch or collection of threads. So tuft is found growing on the surface of the bread. Prepare a temporary mount of few threads from this culture and observe it under the microscope. So all these are non-green eukaryotic heterotropic organisms that is fungi. So let us talk about some general characteristics of fungi. So these are non-green, eukaryotic, heterotropic organisms. Second, most of them are saprotrophs. Saprotrophs means they show saprophytic mode of nutrition. That is, they feed upon decaying organic matter. Third, their cell wall is made up of Tough and complex sugar called chitin. 
Fourth, fungi. Some fungi are thread-like. Means, all these fungi, their body is made up of thread-like structures. And these thread-like structures are known as hypha or hyphae. And these hyphae can be unbranched or branched. So, here are few examples of kingdom fungi. First, mushroom. So, many mushrooms are edible. Means, can be used as food. And different species are cultivated for sale worldwide. Second example, some fungi such as yeast are also used in the production of fermented foods and drinks such as bread and alcohol. Third example is penicillin. Perhaps the most famous of all antibiotic drugs. It is derived from a common fungus called penicillium. Many other fungi also produce antibiotic substances which are now widely used to control diseases in human as well as animals. So in this way we have learnt about kingdom protista and about kingdom fungi. Though many systems of classification are introduced after the Whittakers, his five kingdom system is widely accepted. So next video we are going to learn about classification of microbes. Thank you.